All right, you guys, welcome back to Fly Strong. My name is Laureen. We're gonna do a great back workout today, but like with any uh, back workout, we're gonna use, we're gonna warm up our core so that when we go into a uh, back extension, we're safe with our low back. So go ahead and put the ball somewhere like, I would say hmm, between the shoulder blades. You can kind of roll it down depending on what you feel like might work better for you. I want both hands behind the head and I want you to hold. Now, if this is too much, you can always just hang on to one leg here and then you could switch here, okay? So that's an option if you feel like this is too much already. Okay, we're just gonna do little ups and downs. And so, let's get started here. My pelvis is grounded. I'm looking at the pelvis as I lift up and down that I'm not tilting one up higher than the other. I'm getting that stretch, that elongation, and then coming back up, right? So, remember, this is Pilates, right? Even though I say it's a workout, this is still Pilates. We're still very mindful of the oppositional length of our bodies in every exercise that we're doing. There's never a compression in Pilates. It's always lengthening to maximize the usage of that muscle in its lengthened, lengthened position, right? It's super easy to just push and go like all this stuff, right? I don't want that. I want nice and long and then lower down. Paying attention to the weight of the feet as you come up and as you lower down, okay? And you're getting this nice little extension. So guys, yes, we are doing a back workout, but when we go into back extension, we want our abs to be engaged to protect our low back here, okay? So that's why we're here doing this. Keep going. Okay, there's a slight curve, but it's but it's just very small here of my low back. It's not like a total C curve. Let's go about five more, squeeze it up, lower it down. Four, up, down. Last three, last two, last one. Man, Pilates is so hard, is it not? Now you're gonna reach, lower, reach, lower, reach, lower. So you guys know I wear a back brace for my scoliosis. We had it tightened and um, there was like a piece of plastic that I was digging into my oblique and so I had it on and I showed the very most simplest movement the day after I had an adjustment to a client and I strained it. So I'm being really mindful here of that as I'm moving so that I don't, you know, strain it more. Keep going, eight and seven and six and five and trying to feel it equally and four. Right after this, we're gonna go into chest opener. Last three, last two, last one, and then slowly, oh, let's take a little stretch back, shall we? And just kind of let that open up for a second, okay. So let's roll on up here. You can get rid of your ball. Okay, well, you could keep it. I would put it between the thighs, why not? So let's grab your uh, straps here, okay? You're gonna grab the tape. I'm on one blue spring. I could do this on a red, but like I always say, I go a little lighter for the videos just because I'm talking the whole time. All right, now I'm gonna pull my arms back and I'm gonna hold. Now it's very easy for people when they do this to just be doing this or this. I want you guys, it's Pilates guys, I want you guys to sit really tall Pull the straps as I'm as my arms are pulled back, my spine is lengthening up. Okay. Now, as far as cueing goes, people are always like, get them behind your hips, get them behind your hips. They don't have to be behind your hips. They could be forwards here. The thing that I care about the most is while you're in this position, is that you're feeling all of this working. Okay? So no tension in neck. So if that means you're feeling it here already, leave it there. If you need to go back further to feel it, go back further, okay? And just hold. Now, another thing to you guys is that the further back you sit on your reformer, the heavier this exercise will feel. Also notice the amount of weight on each arm, okay? Now from here, you're gonna let the right hand relax a little bit and then you're gonna switch. So I'm just letting the tension go, one arm to the other, kind of like a lizard walk, but like not walking at all on the ground, right? We're just kind of feeling that weight of our scapulae side to side. And I like this because it sort of um, allows both scapulae to wake up, both muscle, both sides of the muscles to work, to wake up. Good, I need to wake up, it's still kind of early here. Good, keep going and pulling. Good, just with one arm at a time. So the carriage isn't moving, I'm just changing the weight distribution. So I'm pulling more with one hand and the, then the other three, two. Now sit really nice and tall here, guys, and you're gonna pull the arms back, hold it, eyes up, head back, and then pull it back. So as I'm going back, I'm initiating through the backs of my shoulders. Exhale back. And then slowly resisting back in. I'm trying to bring equalness to both sides of my back here. So one of the things, guys, as I always talk about, is you can do beat up yourself exercises all day long, 
If you don't have good form, you're not gonna see the results. I talk to countless people in classes that I take who are asking like why they're not getting in shape and how they're doing like two hours of workouts and all these crazy diets. Your body wants balance, okay? So you gotta give it balance in these movements here. What that means is that when you're working out, you should feel it is, is not chaotic. It feels controlled. When I pull back here, I know exactly what I'm using. I'm using my core and my back, and I'm really lengthening my spine upwards, and I'm pulling the straps back in. Okay, keep going. Let's do a few more here. Felt today that I really need to work on my back. Three, two, hold. Now, little bend and extend. So it's a seated tricep extension. Keep going. Seven, as tall as you can. Six, push. Five, and keep going. Four more, press. And make sure that you have a weight that works for you. Last three. This stuff makes you so strong, you guys. Good, you got two more. Last two, boom. Last one, boom, and then slowly release. Now, what is kind of nice about this workout today is that there are no planks or push-ups or anything like that. It's gonna be mostly uh, pulling straps, okay? So now, uh, take the ball, keep it between your feet, and I'm gonna leave my foot bar high. You guys have the option to put the foot bar down. I like to keep my foot bar high because I like to work on getting my legs um, to work while I'm doing the back extension work, okay? So now I'm gonna put the ball between my ankles here, reach the legs long, go ahead and grab the tape again, Hands outside of your box, okay? Booty's working, arms are long, and you're gonna bring yourself up, hold, and then slowly down. Now, usually, I would probably do this workout on a red or maybe a red and a yellow. I've done it on a red and blue before. That is hard. Um, and I am on balanced body equipment, which is my favorite for Pilates equipment. Good, and you're gonna press back and back down. I've got a little more tension on my pinkies, um, pinkies, uh, to help engage the back line of my body, okay? Now you're gonna pull it forwards and then bring it back. Okay, now your arms don't have to be directly to your sides. I like them a little bit wider than my sides for this exercise, uh, mainly because the reformer is kind of wide for me, but also because I like to feel a little bit of the V shape of my back, okay? And then slowly down. I think this weight's just too light for me but that's okay, we're gonna keep going here. I'll just work on even more form. Crown of the head is long, legs, my legs are lifted, I don't know if you can tell. So my inner thighs and my glutes are working. I like to do that because like everyone, we're all short on time, get the most out of your workouts. Now when your arms go back, you guys, make sure that you're not pulling like this. Shoulders should be back on both sides, right? Keep going. Now I'm gonna bend my legs here and I'm gonna lift up and squeeze. Keep going, let's do two more. Got some here in my face. Good, and pull two. Getting the muscle sculpted. Last one here, and you're gonna hold it back there. Okay, now you're gonna go into a tricep extension. Now this is where you're gonna be happy if you chose a lighter weight, okay? And press, if you feel any tension in the shoulders, you can drop it to a yellow or just do it without any straps. You can just lay on the backs and uh, replicate these movements. Okay, and push. I really love these. Triceps extensions, keep pressing, resist it in, and push. Thumbs can be with your fingers or they can be around, doesn't matter. And push, my glutes are active here, my back's engaged. If you feel anything in your low back, you're gonna skip all of this, you're gonna do it seated, which is what we did in the beginning. Keep going and lengthen. As I'm coming in, my crown is reaching longer. As I'm pressing out, I'm reaching long from the middle of my back out to create that long spine. That's what makes it so hard. Keep going, press. Let's do four more, guys, four more. And push. So the primary movers here for me is my back, believe it or not, even though it looks like arms. Because on a lighter weight, I'm giving my back a chance to work. Now, the heavier you go, you're gonna feel probably more arms. Keep going, three, two. Now, take a little rest if you need it, otherwise, Arms are gonna go outside of the outside of the reformer and you're gonna go out to a T-shape and you're gonna hold, okay? So instead of being internally rotated, think about shoulders back. I'm gonna lengthen my legs again, my butt's working like crazy, and I'm gonna just press back halfway, bring it forward. So I'm working on my sides here. Inhale, exhale, press. 
And as you get comfortable with that movement, you can start to bring it to full range. Now, some of you are gonna have a hard time keeping your palms facing down the whole time. So if you need to turn your hands up as you go back, that's fine. That's a natural movement of the body. I, for me, just like to challenge my uh, supination and pronation of my hands a little bit and, and kind of work on new stuff like that. All right, keep going. Let's go for about 30 more seconds-ish. Good, you're gonna feel the back is on fire. Keep going and bring it in. And it's almost like as my arms are going back, my head is shooting through a cannon and, and then bringing it forwards again. I'm starting to feel that nice deep burn. Keep going, guys. Keep going, it feels so good. Think about what arm is working harder and which one is working less, okay? Try to bring balance to both sides. Four, three, two, now all the way down. Let the head stretch. And as you come up, come up into back extension. We're gonna do 10 of these, 10. And you're gonna feel your butt engage even more if you've got the ball. Nine, really press your strap. Now this is where heavier could help because you have more feedback to push and to lift your chest up. Okay, we got, this is number four. So we got six more. Good, six more guys. Work it, six, inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Articulate as you come up, right? You should see some articulation in my spine even though I've got scoliosis. Opening that chest. Let's do three more. Three. Good, you got two more. Last two, I love how this feels. You're gonna do one more and you're gonna hold. You're building that heat, you guys. One more, come on up, hold. Okay, now you're gonna pulse the arms. Pulse, 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 pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Feel that good burn, two, and then release. All right, guys, so, whoopsies, I just dropped my ball. See, I knew I was gonna lose it. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it there. All right, so now you're gonna crawl yourself up. I do recommend for this a blue or a yellow spring because it does get a little bit heavy. You're gonna crawl up, grab your uprights here. You got this nice position of the spine, nice long spine. Stretch everything out, okay? Make sure if your foot bar is up that your legs are still up and you're gonna exhale, pull. Slowly resist back in. And you're gonna exhale, pull. And slowly resist back in. So my elbows are pointing down here, and you're gonna pull. Good, and resist. If you find that you're sliding, grab um, grab like a sticky pad, and I am sliding a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot down a little bit. You can grab a sticky pad or scoot down. I always like to say boobs on for this one. Okay, and pull, that's much better. And resist, and pull, and resist. Even if you have fake boobs, you can still lay on them. Keep going, seven. Good, six, nice strong movement. Good, you got five, head in line with the spine. Four, pull, think of your back muscles working here. Last three, back is engaged. Last two, pull. Last one, guys, pull it in, hold it. Three, two, and then slowly release. Walk yourself all the way back down. All right, so now I'm gonna turn around we're gonna work into a little bit of our swan, okay? So I like for, so if you're tight in the shoulders, you guys, you're gonna put your foot bar down. I like mine to be slightly, my foot bar's giving me a little bit of trouble here. I like my um, foot bar to be a little bit lower than the, the long box. For some of you, you might need to go even lower than that, depending on your flexibility. Let's put this over here so I don't drop it. I'm gonna stay on, you know what? I'm gonna put on a red spring for this one. So go ahead and throw your red spring on and take your blue off. Okay, now hands. You wanna feel like wherever they're at that your back is engaged. So if you kind of pull the bar out, you could feel your back and if you push the bar in, you could feel your back. So find something in the middle of that, okay? We're gonna exhale, press up, and then inhale, come in. This weight's gonna feel super light, go nice and slow, okay? We're not like trying to kill our muscles here today. We're just trying to get them nice and toasty, work our postural line, feel the bones moving. Let's do three more, pressing out. Be mindful not to drop the head. Last two, pressing it away. You should feel this. If you're someone that doesn't do Pilates very often, you should really feel this. For this one, I'm gonna let my legs hang out. Okay, now hold here. Press down your foot bar and just let the shoulder blades go down and then up. 
So just retract and protract through the shoulder blades. Retract, protract. So my uh, elbows are staying straight here. Okay, now find that retraction to initiate. Take an inhale, bring the head up slowly. Then the like upper back, right? We're articulating up and then the middle and then the upper and come up into your swan and then slowly articulate down one piece at a time. So why is this important, you guys? Because Pilates is about moving the spine, okay? We're gonna do that four more times. Inhale, retract, come on up. One piece at a time. You don't have to close the carriage. Your pubic bone can come off and then slowly lower it down. So to make this harder, you would scooch forwards. To make this easier, you scoot backwards. Good, and you're gonna press down that foot bar, feel your back muscles engage, slowly going down. These movements, you guys, are gonna teach you how to engage your body more efficiently so that your workouts are more effective. Good, and then lowering it down, last one. Retract, come up, hold. Now, you can walk your hands a little closer for this, you might need to. Okay, we're gonna rock up and rock down. So it's kind of like, um, oh my God, what's that actually? Is this called rocking in Pilates? So it's kind of like rocking in Pilates, but you're giving your arms kind of permission to stay in one spot here, right? Versus in rocking, where you have the option to move your arms. Good, you're gonna do five. You're just rocking along the spine, four. Good, you have three more. My legs are engaged now, two more. Good, one more. And in the real rocking, your legs would lift here. My legs maybe lift a little bit. Okay, and then slowly release. Okay, so now bring your hands in front of the box. Scoot forward so you've got a little more tension. Depending on your reformer, your elbows might rest on the box already, so you'll already be started out. Now press the carriage open and slowly resist in. And what I mean by that, like for example, if I put this foot bar up, and I'm just gonna show you real quick. If I had this up at the high position, do you see how my elbows touch? So I'd already be like on tension before I even begin. This is much harder, why not? We'll just do this. Good, so a little bit of triceps and back. So guys, as I'm pressing out and in, I'm not just like, oh, it's all triceps here. I'm actually really focusing on pushing from the lats, from the back. Okay, we're gonna make this a little harder. Let's do three more, slowly resisting it in, taking your time. Last two, pressing it away. Good, resisting it back in, filling your back muscles. Last one, exhale, press out. Now from here, guys, take the right hand and take it out to the side and then bring it back in, tap. And out to the side and tap. You're gonna feel your muscles working like crazy. Soft bend of the left elbow is fine. Pressing out, I did put this on the higher setting so I can definitely feel this. Good, now I'm gonna lift my chest a little bit. Six, good, five. As long as you stay in your back muscles, last four. Pull it away, feel your lats, last three, pull. Good, so as I'm pulling, I'm like dragging it with my lats. Last one more, last one more, last one. Good, and you're gonna put your arm back on, you're gonna switch sides. You're gonna take your other arm out to the side, back in. Nine, I love how this feels, guys. So stabilizing with one arm, mobilizing with the other, eight. Good, and seven. Good, and imagine like there's a band on your left hand here, and that you're pulling something down. Six. Pull, good, five, pull. You have four, pull. Try to stay square, last three, good. Last two here, pull. Last one, and pull. Now bring your elbows closer to your, uh, to shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna hold, uh, press out and resist in. Back to that pressing out and coming back in. Keep going, seven more, seven and resist. You guys feel that burn? Six, you're gonna be sore. You don't think you're gonna be sore, but you're gonna be sore. Five, good, resist, feel both equally. Four, resist, so good. I do have it on the higher foot bar, which is harder. Last three, good. Last two, press, resist. Last one, all right. Now guys, here comes the hard part. <laughs> this part sucks, pulse it out, 10. Oh my God, nine. Good, eight, so hard, this is so hard, seven. And then you wonder why Pilates makes you strong, six. Five. Good, four more, four more, four. Come on, push it out, three. Triceps and back, last two, 
push it out, last one, press it out, and then slowly coming back in. Oh my goodness, all right. So now guys, let's come on off the reformer. I think one red will be good for this. So you can crawl over to the side or climb over it. Doesn't matter if you have a clinical or a non-clinical reformer. Non-clinical just means you're gonna be squatting a little lower. Now, this exercise, I mean, I've heard different names for it, peacock, crocodile, whatever. I like to think of it as like maybe a crocodile. If you have a better suggestion, let me know. So feet are hip width apart. You can put a band over your thighs if you want. Stick out your butt. And you're gonna kind of start with a drop head. You're gonna be really far back here on your reformer. Like your butt's almost gonna be sitting on the machine here, okay? As you come up, the reason why I think it's crocodile is like I'm under the water because I can't see over the box. And then as I come up, my arms stay straight. I'm looking over the box. And then I'm slowly going back down. So I'm like coming out of the water. You know, I like crocodiles, like you just barely see them come up. It's kind of cool, right? Good, and then slowly going out. So I'm gonna really feel my back muscles here and then press and pull. So when I'm pulling, you guys, I'm almost pushing down on the reformer so I can feel my rhomboids engage, right? Like the middle of my upper back. Good, and lift and lower. Good, and then like, we'll agree this is called King Cobra, but you're doing it kneeling. I like the idea of being able to stand and do this because you could, I do add bands to this sometimes to work my outer glutes a little bit while I do it. You guys feel a nice burn and pull. Now we're gonna go a little faster. Eight, pull, seven, pull, six, pull, five, pull, four, pull. Get that back warmed up. Three, pull, last two, good. Last one, pull. Now hold. Now bend and straighten the arms, or the elbows. So you're gonna press it out, pull it in. And I'm on socks, so when I pull, it wants to drag me forwards. But I'm trying to do a really good job to glue my feet to the floor. My spine is long, there's no rounding. Guys, I see people pulling with a rounded spine on this. Oh my goodness, please do not do that. And pull, seven. Good, and pull, six. And five and four, and three, keep it going. Last two, you should feel the strength here. Last one, hold it in, little pulses. Eight, seven, the pulses are so hard. Six, get that back engaged. Five, good, four, pull. Three, pull, two, pull. Last one, pull, and then slowly release. Woo, you're gonna feel all of that back and all of those arms working like crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna come on forwards here. I'm gonna drop it to a blue spring. I'm gonna take the red off, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna step back, oopsies, back into my well here. I'm gonna work a little bit on some single arm pulling, okay? So your opposite arm, why don't we do it this way? Why don't we key, add some rotation to it because it is Pilates, okay? So I'm gonna take my left hand to the right pull, okay? Make sure that you're back far enough so that whenever you're pulling in and then releasing, you're feeling that stretch on that left side, right? Cause I'm crossed over, I'm pulling it in, and I'm reaching it forward. And I want you to feel the movement of your scapula bone as you rotate out and in through this movement. Let's do two more. Good, we're gonna do one more. Okay, now release that and let's get to the other side here, okay? So you're gonna feel differences. Now this is definitely my looser side with scoliosis. So what I try to focus on is really retracting and engaging that area that likes to stick out. Oh my gosh, Rocky is so cute right now. Good. Make sure if the weight's too much, guys, and you're pulling like this with your neck, drop the weight, right? So rotate, keep the weight equal in your legs, guys, as you do this, slowly going out and bringing it in. And you should feel all these guys through here working. Let's do four more. Good, last three. Boom. Last two, and if this is too much for your shoulders, guys, just skip it. Last one, pull it in, good, okay. Now, we're gonna do, for the finisher, we're gonna do a really awesome uh, movement that I love. It's gonna be without the long box, so I'm gonna do the long box off. Okay, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna kinda go up in, onto my reformer. And actually, I think this might be too much. So let's drop it to, I just had it. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna put it to a blue here. So put it on a blue, okay? Now you're gonna pull yourself forwards. You're gonna grab the back of the reformer. 
You're gonna drop the hips down, and as you come up, you're gonna reach the chest up. You're gonna lower down, 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 and then you're gonna reach it up. Good, and then slowly lowering down. So you're getting this nice stretch through your spine, and then you're gonna pull it up. Let's do a few more here. Keep going. You should feel really good here, guys. And pull, nice little stretch, nice little opening for the body. Good, keep going. Good, calling this the baby crocodile. I'm in the water and then oh, I'm picking up to see what's going on and I'm going right back in the water. Nice and stealth, right? Those guys are so stealthy. Oh my gosh, in those waters. It's pretty amazing. Good, and keep pulling up. Make sure that you don't smash your fingers. Good, and pull. Good, and then back out. A few more here, guys. Feel both sides working equally. Last one here, and you're gonna do a hold for me. You're going down, and you're gonna come up, and you're gonna hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then release. Oh my goodness, guys. That should have felt super awesome. You should feel all the back, all the lats, everything working all the way around. Like you've got a good posture structure here. Okay, go ahead and stretch it out here. Let's just go ahead and take our arms to the right or like cross your left arm over your right and just kind of stretch here and then take a little twist over. And oh, that feels so good. And then take the right arm forward, cross it over. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, leave a comment. Anyways, guys, awesome job. Yes. <laughs>